I am so excited. <laughs> All right, so what is going on YouTube, Foxy Girl? Welcome to you guys today with a brand new video, and today is the first video of Modern Warfare 2019. Woo! Let's go, bros! Oh my god! So I gotta give a big shout out to the homies over at Scuff Gaming for sending me this care package right here. We're gonna open it and see what it is. If you guys don't want to see what the hell this is, you guys can skip to the time lapse on the screen. But I think you guys should because it has to do with modern warfare. And um, if you guys use code Foxy on GFuel.com right now, you get 30% off your order. I just woke up probably like 20 minutes ago. All right, so we have the Scuff Vantage 2. This is awesome, dude. The main difference is between the first Scuff Vantage and the Scuff Vantage 2, there's improved trigger stoppers uh normally these are kind of like plastic just it's such a nice refined material that's on this it feels great honestly it's a lot better than most of the controllers on the market because they don't really have this you know uh type of texture and like this type of uh, material on it there's also a new pc customization app that's coming to windows this fall the new matte black or mate black whatever you want to call it like i'm not gonna sit here and judge you if you call it mate or matte or whatever it doesn't really matter it's removable as well. It comes on every single finish. There's also new upgraded trigger functions as well on this. Honestly, I just noticed the S2 and S1. I haven't used this scuff in a long time, so this controller really reminds me of an Xbox 360 controller. I know it kind of looks more like an Xbox One controller, but the way I've kind of felt it so far, it feels kind of like a 360. We're gonna use it in this video when I play Modern Warfare, and you guys are gonna see that. I'm gonna have multiple shades of beard in this video too. The, the original Modern Warfare 2019 footage that I recorded was back in the beta, but I do wanna get some footage while using this controller. And we have a brand new enhanced USB connection system, which is really, really awesome. And if you guys want to go grab a Scuff controller or a new Scuff Vantage 2 or whatever you guys want to do over at Scuff, make sure you guys go use code CARNAGE for 5% off. The link will be down in the description below. So yeah, today we are going to be looking at the M4 and every Call of Duty. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. I normally don't ask for likes, but if we can hit a thousand likes for the brand new release of Modern Warfare 2019 and for the fact that this video took me forever to make, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, use code FOXY on gfield.com from now until the 29th for 30% off. If you guys want to restock on your gfield, all you guys got to do is go to gfield.com and get 30% off. Put in code FOXY. You know, you guys can click the link down in the description below. You guys don't even need to type in the uh, the, the word Foxy. All you guys got to do is just click the link. And my code's already added to your fucking checkout, dude. It, it's great. It's great. So, if you guys want to support me even further as a content creator, make sure you guys use code Foxy at gfield.com for 30% off. And without further ado, let's go, bro. So, we got the original M4. No red dot sight. No camo. No attachments. Nothing. None of that. We got Jug on, but that's about it. And I know I'm, I'm scum for using Jug, but fuck it, you know? Got a bunch of kids using M16s around here, so I figured I would just kind of use Jug. <laughs> so for all the for all these games, we're not going to use stopping power. For the games that have stopping power, at least. So Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4. We're not going to use stopping power for any of the weapons, because I feel like that's kind of that's kind of like low-key cheating in a way, because that that, that just kind of shows how good the, the weapon is. The stopping power makes pretty much every weapon OP. Almost, unless you're playing Modern Warfare 2, then all the weapons are just OP as fuck in general. The, the, this game, I just wanna, I just wanna play with the raw, with the raw guns, you know. All right, we're gonna call that in. I don't know where. Every what? What? Where? Where? Oh, dude, I was wondering if anyone was gonna see me there, bro. And like we always do, we're gonna go ahead and look at Modern Warfare Remastered later on in the video as well, so we can get a comparison of, you know, Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare Remastered, aka Call of Duty 4 Remastered. It, it's just something I like to do because it's just a cool comparison type thing, you know? Like I said in the last Evolution video, the AK-47 in every Call of Duty, we don't look at the cameras that are on the guns or whatever for these videos because I just like the clean slate look you know, just the just the clean look of the gun. No. Double kill. Nope. Oh, oh, there's a guy in there. I thought I I thought that was ah oh, fuck me, dude. And now we have the M4A1 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is my favorite Call of Duty, and I never really used the M4A1 back in the day. I, I didn't really like it to be honest. I was more of a fan of the ACR, sort of the Tar, but more of the ACR. ACR is my favorite gun. In this game for Double sure. Kill. Oh man, we got two kills right there. Nice little two piece, two piece chicken McNugget. Oh, and I get that get shot from behind. I wait, where did I get shot from? I don't know. Where, I don't even know where I got shot from. What are you doing, Riot Shield guy? What What are you doing? 
Yeah, thanks, Riot Shield guy. Dude, worry. Worry. What are you doing? See, I just got killed. And you're about to die too. Yeah, I'm glad you died. The M4A1 in this game is a solid gun. It's a solid freaking gun. It's not too shabby. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's, you know, as good as, uh, I don't know if it's as good as Call of Duty 4's M4, but it's not bad. This is kind of when they started doing like, uh, it's the M4A1 in this game and not the M4. I think that's kind of cool. Like, once again, just like how they did the MP5, where it's the MP5K instead of the MP5. It's just a little bit different, but it's familiar, which is cool. That always, that, that always works, even if you you're like revolutionary in your game. Hey, it's like another guy. Okay, there's another guy that's. Yeah! I really like the sound of this gun too. There we go. Come on. Run through. Run through. Just run through. We're just waiting for you. Damn it. I I my my timing is pretty off right now. I, I really hope that the the music and the voice acting in Modern Warfare is freaking awesome and just like badass so guys let me know down in the comments what's your favorite m4 in call of duty like what what the fuck I, I got shot from multiple ways there has to be i don't know where i'm going oh my god oh, we're about to lag out of the game yep all right this is classic modern warfare 2 all right next game all righty let's see here there's a guy right there i just saw him there we go. Now, this gun, the M4, or the Commando in Black Ops 1, is quite possibly my favorite gun in any Call of Duty and my favorite gun in Black Ops 1, for sure. Like, this gun is my favorite. The M4 is not in this game, but it's in the form of the Commando, and it's pretty much just an M4A1 or an M4. So, this gun is pretty much, I would say that this gun and the FAMAS are the best overall guns in Black Ops 1. I feel like that the Commando is consistent. I was really upset when they never brought it back in the in the new Call of Duties. Like, they never brought it back in Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4. And, like, it's not in Call of Duty Mobile because the M4 is in Call of Duty Mobile, which we will get to later on as well. Yes, yes, we will be playing Call of Duty Mobile in this video. I always found it odd how this gun, like, never made its return. But I've always wanted it to. I just love the sound of the gun. I like the look of the gun. It looks badass. It sounds badass. And it's just an overall awesome gun. This is this was my go-to gun back in the day. This and the FAMAS. And even though I suck back in the day, it's all gravy. Guys, let me know what's your favorite gun in Black Ops 1 is. I want to know. Let me know down in the comments. Mine is obviously the Commando. And honestly, like, my second would probably be the FAMAS or the AK-74U. I know those are all, like, the best guns in the game. Okay, there's one guy. There we go. There's another one. Reload this real quick. Nope. We go no dude come on we got to make this comeback here bros i'm really excited to play free for all in the new modern warfare uh you guys are also going to see me with a green beard most likely in this video because when i recorded these initially it was like the beta for modern warfare not really sure if i'm gonna end up like scrapping it or in like re-recording or whatever but yeah now get out of here oh my god holy crap okay hold on but we gotta win with the commando we got to Okay, well, at least I got the kill. I, I really like the iron sights on this gun, too. It's not, like, I don't know. The, just the iron sights are nice. The, just the whole look of the gun is really, really nice, in my opinion. Even though my aim sucks balls. Okay. No. Fuck last stand. Double kill. No. I, uh, I oh, dude, I definitely got pull over there. Now we are on Lag Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3. Surprisingly, I have not lagged at all when playing this game yet. It's shocking because most of the time, it lags like a bitch. And I cannot fucking stand this game enough to play it because it lags so much. But we have not lagged yet today. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a win. It's a win right now here, bros. Okay. I just suck balls. Alrighty then. We have the second iteration of the M4A1 in a Call of Duty game, which is the M4A1 in this game, obviously. The first one being from Modern Warfare 2, like we saw earlier. That's a guy right there, and he's just sitting there. Modern Warfare 3 is... It, it can be a fun game. For me, the M4A1 was never one of my go-to guns in this game. I feel like a lot of people went for the ACR in this game, very similar to how they went for the ACR in 
MW3. That was a C4, but I'm gonna just gonna run away. Oh, that's a guy. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why do I keep hearing this beeping noise? There we go. There's Marksman. Nope. God fuck me, dude. Ah! I saw him too. Like, I, I knew that was gonna happen too. But it's all good. We're gonna toss this over here. Hopefully that gets someone. He's right to my right. There he is. The little bastard. What are you doing? Oh, I feel like Modern Warfare 3 doesn't get enough credit sometimes. I know Modern Warfare 3 is a lot of people's favorite game. But I feel like it's also regarded as like one of the Call of Duties that a lot of people just don't like or the start of the downfall of Call of Duty. I know for me personally, I really enjoyed this game. I thought that Modern Warfare 3 was awesome. Get off me. What are you doing? Don't tell me he's about to get hit with it again. There we go. He's gone. wonder why he's not using his shotgun this game. No, wait. No, I have assassin. What? All right, well, this game's kind of already started, uh, but, uh, okay, yeah, people are using the models. That, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, get off me. I have the MV4. So, the MV4 is the M4 of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This is the best gun in the game. It's, like, not even close. Dude. This sucks more than anything that I've ever sucked before. We're not gonna use the variants in this, in this video because, I mean, I feel like that's kind of cheap. Considering we're just looking at the base weapon, just like we don't put camos on our guns, we're not gonna uh, use the variants on our gun or for our guns either. So, okay, here we go. Ah, I got shot from two sides, man. That's another thing about Infinite Warfare that I really don't like. I get shot from multiple angles in this game, and it's so damn annoying. I feel like besides the K bar, the MV4 is just like one of the best guns in this game for sure. Let me see here. Is there anyone over here? No. Oh, there he is. Hey there, buddy. Nope. Ah, almost had him. Gun feels so smooth to move around with, too. I don't know. It doesn't feel heavy. It's just like a really perfect balance, just like an M4 should. I feel like that's like one of the best qualities about this gun. Oh, feels weird, like, running really fast and then, like, not running really fast. <laughs> we are now on Modern Warfare Remastered, and just like in the original game, we are not going to run Stopping Power. We are going to run Juggernaut, and that's going to be that. I just want to kind of show, like, the raw power of this gun more than anything. This guy's, like, sitting over here. Oh, shit. Of course. Bad timing. I still killed him, though. Yep. Can I, give me, can I, can I get that two-piece? Can I get the two-piece? Can I get the two-piece? Yes, we can. Let's go, baby. I, I predicted it before I even killed him. So, it's really, really cool, and I really like doing this because, you know, I think, I think this is so cool, and I love looking at the remastered game because, you know, we can see the difference between 2007 and 2016 when Modern Warfare Remastered first came out, and that's super cool to me. I think that's one of the dopest things about looking at remastered when we do these evolution videos, and I know we could do either or, but I'd much rather just do both because we just kind of get a full look at how Call of Duty has changed and how they've changed the graphics and how nice this game actually looks. And I played this game so much. I played this game so much when it was out. Or like, I mean, like, obviously, like, when it was out, but when it was the game with infinite warfare i was playing this more than anything and yeah there's a lot of like crazy broken shit in this game but i mean like that's call of duty 4 like that's what it is man all right so i wasn't really gonna play this at first i'm, I'm gonna be real with you guys i wasn't gonna do this but i felt like it was okay to do it like i felt like it was only right if i play call of duty mobile and i play uh with the m4 and call of duty mobile since like you know it is in call of duty mobile and like you know like that's it's, it's only right dude like i feel like it's only right to do that it's a nice two-piece Okay, there we go. There's a nice three-piece. Holy crap. Oh, man, we got the kill. Nice. Honestly, if there's, like, emulators for, like, the DS games and things like that, too, I would honestly play them um, I would, in these evolution videos, at least, because I know that there's, like, M4s in uh, the DS version of MW3 and... Oh, nice, nice little two-piece. And, uh, and other stuff, like, I'm pretty sure that there's an M4 in, like, the Call of Duty 4... A Nintendo DS version of the game and things like that. And it's just like, you know, like that that just sounds like fucking that just sounds like super memeable and super funny to do. So if there is an emulator for those games, I would definitely play those for the evolution videos only. I probably would not play those. I'm actually using someone else's gun right now. So because like it's not unlocked. But I've I've actually been uh 
There we go. Hold on. Shit. Uh, using this... Using this uh, scuff bandage, dude. I can just tell that the grip on this is really, really nice. I really like the grip on this so far. The sticks are really nice, too. I normally use just, like, default PS4 sticks or whatever. But the scuff uh, sticks, or the, the thumb sticks, or whatever you want to call them, they've always worked really well for me. Um, especially caved in. I don't really use dome sticks anymore. I, I saw it in, like, the nighttime mode or whatever. But I also wanted to use the Vantage 2 and use it for some of this video at least or at least like the last part of this video especially like this um kill. this last part where i'm playing the new game and things like that we're gonna toss that over there you can eat that not my 1911 please Double kill. nope dude m4 m4 is the meta controller doesn't feel too bad i'm not used to the uh the s2 and the r2 or that the S2 and the the S1 and S2 shit yeah see like that it gets some getting used to but you know we're gonna see how it goes it feels really good I really like the grip on it it's nice to have some grip on a controller for once instead of like not having it on like the uh, the other controllers I've used because like normally I just use like a standard PS4 controller and things like that but th this I like the grip on this get out of here that's spawns please <laughs> I like that the controller is a lot heavier now like I remember the last scuff I used I think it was the scuff the last scuff I used which was the scuff impact it wasn't as heavy as I thought it would be I felt like it should have been heavier and this controller is definitely heavier which is really 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 nice you guys are gonna see in the headquarters game from the beta because I'm gonna put that in here as well you guys are gonna see that I played on this map as well and I was kind of hoping to get one of the newer maps double kill that's two. Ah! <laughs> God damn! Yo, that's crazy. The controller, it feels great. It plays well. I really like the grip on the back. And honestly, I gotta get used to some of the stuff, like the S1 and S2. But other than that, the controller feels real awesome. I love the material that they use on the top. Make sure you guys go use Code Carnage for a Scuff Vantage 2. They also have, I don't know if the Modern Warfare Edition is still available, but they it might be. But you can still get covers for this, and this controller is really awesome. Thanks again to Scuff for sending me this controller for the launch of Modern Warfare. And now you guys can enjoy some insane gameplay from uh, the beta. So there's always been a version of the M4 in any Call of Duty, honestly. It's pretty much been in every single COD. Like, you can't just escape the M4, in my opinion. Like, it's just always going to be there. Like, IW, like like we've seen already. IW had the NV4, which was dominant. And the M4 seems to be pretty dominant in this game as well. Uh, it's really good. It's got some of the best attachments. What the fuck just killed me? Oh, I was... You can't even... I couldn't even see that dude. Let's see, we're gonna run this way. This guy right there. It should be another one coming this from this way, probably. I really don't like kill trading in uh, Call of Duty. Kill trading in Call of Duty should not be a thing. I really don't like it. see anyone over here we're running through here i just want to see people like running for it nope i'm not really worried about the hq to be honest nope there we go there's another kill oh my god oh we're just going off now nope Oh, we got, oh, we got a fucking helicopter. Holy shit, dude. We're on a 10? Dude, the M4's fucking insane. Why hasn't anyone told me this? Well, I mean, actually, everyone has kind of told me this, but... Dude, my Harrier's going to work, bro. Ah, it's all good. Good kill on a nice little streak right there, bros. Holy crap. God damn, came in and just, like, started fucking frying people, dude. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it my helicopter. Or this, uh, whatever it's called. It's, it's, it's a Pavlo. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's a Pavlo. Look at that shit. You get streaks, and then, like, we start going off. We start winning. Look at that shit. That's, that, that's why some people, or a good amount of people, camp. Uh, when it comes to streaks, or, like, if they sit back and, like, they try and, like, pick people off for streaks, it's because of this. We are now winning because I got streaks. Oh, did someone take it out? What a fucking asshole. It's like, the, it's like an M4 meta. Everyone in the fucking, everyone in the lobbies is an M4. Please don't go for me. God damn it, bro. Honestly, I really like the M4 in this game. I think that this gun is definitely going to be a meta and competitive. It's definitely going to be a meta for pubs as well. Oh, we got a kill right there. People got like double time on and shit like that, and then they're just sitting in like little like crates and bunkers and double kill. 
Oh man. Kill. Oh, okay. I got another VTOL. Or Harrier, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, dude. I'm just going off. Dude, I was gonna say if I got another foil, like if I got another payable, that shit was about to be a GG. Guys, I hope y'all did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let me know what other evolution videos you guys want me to do. I can do camos, I can do uh guns or whatever we're doing more guns right now because i've kind of done the really big camos that people enjoy like gold camo and dark matter and things like that uh we did that last year so you know it, let me know what other what other stuff you guys want me to do i'm more than willing to you know go back and play thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later good night